Let's solve this integral, the integral of cosine squared x dx. Now don't make the mistake of using the reverse power rule here. Adding one to the power, dividing by the new power. Cosine cubed over three is not the answer. That only works for polynomial functions. Instead, we're gonna take advantage of a trig identity, a nice identity that cosine squared x, this is the same as one half the quantity, one plus, cosine 2x. And so what we're doing here is we're reducing this squared, which we don't really know how to integrate, to a first power. We can antiderive cosine to the first. So I'll pull that one half out front. We can factor constants out of integrands, and this will be the antiderivative of one plus cosine of 2x. This is still dx. And now this is something we can actually antiderive. We have a one half. The antiderivative of one dx is simply x. The antiderivative of plus a cosine is plus a sine. I need to keep this two x. And you could have done a mini u substitution here, letting u be two x. But when it's a situation as simple as this, I prefer just to memorize that if we were deriving, we would have to multiply by two by the chain rule. We're anti-deriving. We need to divide by that two. That only works when it's a constant times x on the inside. And as I say sometimes, every good indefinite integral deserves plus c. We solved this integral. Now I encourage you to click the video on the screen to keep watching. I'll see you in that one.